Hi guys, so I'm doing another video about this Google Sheet where you can analyze all of your TuneZet entries and see which album performs best with which month or quarter was the best one, which publisher um, gives you the most um, TV usages. So quite a very helpful tool for composers who work in the TV and film business and want to see how their music performs um, and yeah, make business decisions based on the um, data. If you're not using TuneZet and you're a composer uh, working in the TV industry, then you should definitely use TuneZet to analyze where all your music is running on TV um, because it's a very helpful tool um, to decide uh, for which publisher you want to write more music or which album you might give another round and uh, do another one in that style. Um, so yeah, definitely check out TuneZet if you haven't got a TuneZet account. If you're not a composer, then ignore this video <laughs> because this will be quite boring for you. <laughs> um, I know I've already done a video about this um, sheet, but I've changed quite a few things um, since I have uploaded the first video. So if you are using the old version, please um, use the new version, copy your TuneZet entries to the new version and you should be good to go and it should save you a lot of time actually um, because a lot of things are automated now. So let's um, go into the sheet. I'll um, show you how things are done um, and um, just follow me along. Um, download the sheet in the link below in the description on my buy me a coffee page and yeah, then let's head right into the sheet. So you start on this tunes and reports page. Um, basically, first uh, thing said, all the yellow sheets down here you can edit and all the green sheets give you some kind of information. So just um, for a quick overview. Um, yeah, first sheet is the tunes and reports page down here. So um, this is where all your tunes and entries will land eventually. Um, just copy them over into here, but not straight into here. I'll show you in a minute how this is done. Um, yeah, via the copy paste sheet here. Um, this is the old copy paste sheet, which is blank. You had to do everything by yourself. Now it's automated finally. Um, we've got the pro payments page down here. Just add all of your pro payments to this here, to this list, and it should update in this chart. These are example entries. <laughs> not my real payments. Um, then we've got the inventory page. This is the first thing you should go to and add your music to. So add all your track titles, which publisher published the track and which album this belongs to. Um, this is very important. Um, you do straight away um, because all of the information here, album publisher, month quarter, or, and all the um, statistics will be based on that. So your track titles here on the TuneZet page need to match what you've put in the inventory. Just uh, that said. In the end, you should be able to see which publisher um, gives you the most TuneZet entries, um, which month um, performed best. So here are only two months in there. So um, yeah, you should see which quarter performed best, which uh, publisher gives you the um, best results. You should um, be able to see which track works best on TV, um, which TV shows um, use your music the most and which TV channel likes your music. So all very um, helpful statistics actually. Um, and I regularly, um, yeah, just look into this um, and see which album performs best. Should I maybe do another album like I did with that? Should I really write another album for that publisher if the publisher hasn't given me any usages whatsoever in, I don't know, two or three years, then maybe no. <laughs> but if there are a lot, then well, yes, obviously <laughs> I should continue working with them. Um, So where to start? Well, obviously you have to add all your tracks to the inventory. Um, then you go to your tunes at account. Um, I'll just copy paste some entries. Doesn't really matter now. Um, and then you go to the copy paste sheet. Um, when you first click this button here, um, you, it may not work. You need to maybe click it a second time. Um, and then Google will tell you, well, this script here may be unsafe. Do you really want to 
uh, give the script permission to work, then click yes, because otherwise it won't work. Um, after that, you'll never have to do it again. So first things first, clear the entries, which will be this button, then this should all be blank. Then you go to the first cell here and just paste all your entries. Then what we do is we maybe we've got two tunes at accounts or maybe we want to paste some more. Uh, we just paste the next ones down here. Yeah, just just paste them all aligned here. So now the problem is um, due to the copy and paste process, things have uh, not been aligned here. We've got here the duration of the first entry and then all of that is there. So what we need to do is align entries. So we've done the first step, the second step now to the align entries. And this is quite helpful now. So the Google Sheet will just go through those all and just align the, the entries to the left. Just wait for that to finish. And once that finished, we'll just uh, stop the script up here. Okay. Fourth step, we name track titles. As I said, the track titles have to be exactly as in the inventory. Um, so we need to get rid of the publisher and the .mp3 here. So what we do is uh, control F to um, search and replace. So first let's search and replace for MP3. Um, we want to just uh, change stuff where we've selected it and we want to um, replace it uh, for nothing. Just get rid of it. Okay. Next one would be replace the publisher and then replace dot wave I see there and maybe replace instrumental because I don't really care about that. Um, then some have got the album name in there. I don't need that too. And now basically that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much finished now. Um, Okay, so we've got the tracks catch me. We should copy that to the inventory. As I said, it all has to match. Um, it's all from the publisher at music audio this time. Um, album uh, title is crime life. Um, then what do we have else? We've got get it done. I kind of just select those here. Demons crime life. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, perfect. <clears throat> okay, I'll just pull this down. Um, so we align that to yeah, fill out all of the information. What we do now is we don't have to reformat this. Yay, because I've automated that. Don't edit this red stuff. <laughs> uh, just take all of this here, copy it, uh, control uh, C. Then you go into the tunes and reports page, um, choose the first duration here. And uh, then you go to um, edit and then paste only values. That is important actually. Okay. So now we do um, standard. Uh, we can um, format this as duration. So this is duration. Then we can format this as date. Just so the new entries here have the same format. So this is, uh, what is this? Time. Okay, time, so time. And this here is basically only text. So we'll format this as only text. Uh, give, give it a few seconds. There are quite a few fields here that need to be done. So be a bit patient with those things. Okay, now we have to align the count here as soon as Google Sheet lets me. Okay, just double click that. That should do the trick. Yeah. Then um, we just pull down the formula here, double click that, and it should do the trick here. Um, so yeah, uh, this worked instead of that. Why didn't this work? Um, let's see. I don't know. Ah, okay. We've got a space bar here actually, which we don't want um, for the sake of stuff. I'll just add the space bar here. Um, so yeah, it's put a space bar here behind the life. Be aware of those little errors that can happen. But yeah, that's not, now you're done. You don't need to reformat everything now, um, which you had to do all manually on the old sheet. Um, just once you start again, clear all the entries and then you're good to go for the next round. 
just yeah as i said copy and uh, everything here and then paste only the values but if you follow the steps i put up here you should be good to go now uh, you can see well crime, crime life has been added to the statistics here you can see um another month a few another months have been added i can see um in the publisher there should be at some music audio now yep um yeah so a helpful tool for composers i use it regularly um i hope you enjoyed and i hope you um use the new sheet as it will uh definitely be easier for you <laughs> okay take care and see you next time